This is the level one functional skills maths paper from Highfield. It's split into two parts. In this first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. Question one. Write these fractions in order from smallest to largest. Write the answer in the box below. I'll place half first because we know what the value of half is and what it represents. And then the other one we can easily recognize is three quarters. And three quarters is bigger, larger than a half. So I'm going to put it here. Then looking at two eighths. Two eighths, if we simplify, divide both of them by two, we get a quarter. And we know that a quarter is smaller than a half. And then we've got seven eighths. So if I show this very quickly here in a number line, this is where seven eighths is. So it's larger than three quarters. Three quarters would be six eighths. Whereas this is larger. So put seven eighths after the three quarters. And this is the order of them from the smallest to the largest. You could have also converted them all and found the common denominator, which in this case would be eight, and it'll give you the same answer. Work out the value of 15 squared, and we know that 15 squared is 15 times 15. So 5 times 5 is 25, 5 down and 2 carried over, 5 times 1 is 5 and the 2 is 7. Now we're going down and put in a 0, 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. Adding these together, 5 and 0 is 5, 7 and 5 is 12, 1 and 1 is 2. So 225 is the answer. Calculate the value of 8, add 8, times 8, take away 8. Write the answer in the box below. So we know through BIDMAS that we need to do multiplication first. So we're going to do this first. So I'm going to rewrite this as 8 add. 8 times 8 is 64. Take away 8. Now we've got addition and subtraction. So we can do them in the order they're given to us. So 8 add 64. That is going to be 72. Take away 8. 72 take away 8 is 64. So the final answer is 64. Which of these nets can be folded to form a cube? And that is option D. Why is it not any of the other ones? We know that we need six faces, so this one doesn't have six. This one has six, but it hasn't got another face on the other side. And this one here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has one more than we need. Surfing. You want to buy a new surfboard. You have found a surfboard that is on special offer. And we've got pro board, list price £235, special offer, 12% discount off list price. How much will the surfboard cost 
after the discount. So the price is 235, but we've got a 12% discount. Since we can't use a calculator, we'll use the 10% method. So we'll work out 10% of 235, which can be worked out by dividing 235 by 10, which means moving the decimal point one place to the left. So we get then 23 pounds 50. We've got 12% in total so we've got the 10 now we've got two percent to work out so i'll break that down into one so one percent and then another one percent so this in total will be 12. so one percent of 235 that is 235 divided by 100 because there are 100 ones to make 100 percent so Again, we go now this time to spaces to the left. So it's going to be two pounds and 35 pence. So keeping the digits as they are, just more than the decimal point. So again, another 1%, which is two pounds 35 pence. So we'll add all of these together. I'm going to rewrite them because I haven't put them in line as they should be. So now we get the pounds under the pounds and the pennies under the pennies. So zero and five and five makes 10. Five and one is six and three is nine and three is 12, so two down, one carried over, one and three is four, and two is six, and two is eight, and then we've got the two down, so 28 pounds and 20 pence discount. So we're gonna take that away from the 235 pounds. So if we borrow one here, one pound, so that becomes a four. This is going to be 100 pennies. So 100 take away 20 gives us 80 pence. So we've got four pounds now, take away eight. We're going to have to borrow one from this. So it becomes a two and this becomes 14. So 14 take away eight gives us six. 2 take away 2 is 0, 2 take away 0 is 2, so 206 pounds and 80 pence is the new price. That's the discount. You're preparing to enter a local surfing competition. You know that it will take you 45 minutes to drive to the competition. 11 minutes to put on your wetsuit, 25 minutes to register for the competition. The competition starts at 1 p.m. You start the above activities at 11.30 a.m. Will you be ready in time for the competition to start at 1 p.m.? Show you're working out and write the answer in the box below. So we'll start at 11.30 and we're gonna add 45 minutes. I'm going to make this easier and break it down into 30 minutes and 15 minutes. So half an hour and quarter an hour. If I add 30 minutes here, that's going to give us 12 p.m. And if I add 15 minutes, it's going to be 12.15. So we've done this. And then we're going to add 11 minutes and then the 25 I'm going to add the 25 first because it's going to be easier to do. So from 12, 15, I can break it down into 15 and 10 again, because if I just add 15 minutes in here, it's going to be 12, 30. And if I add the 10 minutes, it's going to be 12, 40. 
Now I'm going to add the 11 minutes. So 12.40, add 11, it's going to be 12.51. And starting at 1 p.m., this is before, 12.51 is before 1 p.m. So we're going to say yes, we'll be ready on time. Nature Reserve, you volunteer at the Highfield Nature Reserve. There are a total of 10 volunteers at the reserve. Every day a name is drawn at random to see who will refill the bird feeders. On the scale below, mark an X to indicate the probability that you will be drawn to refill the bird feeders on a single day. So there are 10 volunteers in total. So we're talking about one out of 10. And this is split into 10 equal parts. So we're going to start with the first one. And this represents one tenth. Last year, the reserve received 3,700 pounds in donations. This year, has seen a 15% increase in the amount donated. How much has been donated this year? Show your working out and write the answer in the box below. So as we can't use a calculator, we're gonna split this into 10% and 5%. So 10% of 3,700, we work it out by going 3,700 divided by 10 which means we move a decimal point to the left, so we get 370, or knocking off a zero, as you might have heard it. And then we get 5%, which is half of the 10%, so we're going to get half of 370. So 370 divided by 2. How many twos fit into 3? There's one of them. And we've got one left. How many twos into 17? It's eight of them, and we get one left because two times eight is 16. How many twos into 10? That is five of them. So 5% is 185 pounds. So we're going to add them two together. 10 and 5% makes 15%. So five and zero is five, seven and eight is 15, so five down and one carried over, three and one is four, and another one is five, so 555 pounds increase. So we're gonna work out how much has been donated, so that's the total. So we're gonna add to this the 3,700. So we could add it here. Five and zero is five. Seven and five is 12. So 4,255 pounds. You're preparing a presentation of the different types of birds in the reserve. You display the figures in a chart chart to show a number of birds in the reserve. We've got woodpeckers, owls, turtle doves. Diagram is not to scale, so you can't really use a protector to measure any angles here. And then we've got one fifth of birds are woodpeckers. 70% of the birds are owls. 
The remainder of the birds are turtle doves. Calculate the angles to complete the table below. So we're going to work at one fifth first. We know that there are 360 degrees in total in the circle. So we're going to work out one fifth of 360. So we'll divide 360 by 5. How many fives would fit into 36? That would be 7 of them. 7 times 5 is 35, so there is 1 remaining. How many fives into 10? That is 2. So woodpeckers, that is 72 degrees. 70% are owls, so we'll work out 70% of 360. So we can break it down into 50%, 10 and 10%, or work out 10%, make it into 30% by multiplying by 3, and take it away. So all that's left is the 70%. I'm going to go through the 50 and the 10% and 10% root. So 50% is half of this. So 360 divided by 2 is 180. Then 10%, we've said we divide by 360 by 10, so that is 36, and another 10%, which means another 36. So we're going to add them all together. So 0 and 6 and 6, that is 12. So 2 down and 1 carried over. 8 and 1 is 9. And the 3 is 12, and the 3 is 15, so 5 down and 1 carried over. 1 and 1 is 2, so 252. 252 degrees for the owls. Now, the turtle doves, we're going to add the 72 and 252, and then take, it, take the total away from 360 degrees. So, 252 add 72 get 4 5 and 7 is 12 324 degrees so we'll take that away from 360 so 0 take away 4 means that we need to borrow 1 from the 6, make it 5, and this becomes a 10. 10 take away 4 is 6. 5 take away 2 is 3. 3 take away 3 is 0. So 36 degrees for the total doves. And this is the end of the assessment, or end of part A.